Hello YouTube, this is Daz the Cameraman. Today is Friday, February 26, 2016. And today we're looking at this video called The Big Question, Are We Seeing the Sun in the Distance in this video? Flat Earth. This video by DITRH. And uh, this whole video is in fact an upload, a re-upload of another video in its entirety, all 9 minutes and 53 seconds that was uploaded by Bolidox UCM, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, um, called Video of Quadrantids 2016 from the Stratosphere. Now this video uh, is of a camera being uh, carried up by a helium balloon into the Stratosphere to film the Quadrantids meteor shower. And if we scroll down underneath the video, we can see the description here. Balloon-borne mission over Spain to study the quadrantids from the Stratosphere 2016, night from the 3rd to the 4th of January 2016. Now if we go back to the video by DITRH, um, we can see that this video is actually being used to promote the idea, the flat earth idea, that the sun is actually beyond its um, vanishing point at night. And this video is used as proof of this, although in the description he does question that it could be the moon. He says here at the end it may be the moon. Um, he also says, however, uh, it may not be the moon as well. So he's he's seeded this idea that, that this is in fact the, the distant sun uh, that we we're seeing in this uh, balloon footage. And as you can see, if you scroll down, all the flat earthers are drooling all over this video as being awesome proof of the of the distant sun sure looks like the sun to me says the art of quiet beer um, you know we we definitely need to start setting up more night balloons this video is fantastic oh these these flat earthers are in an absolute lather so let's have a look and see what they're getting all excited about in in this little clip here okay so we can see the stars now, to see the stars at night, obviously, you need a very sensitive camera as well. So here is this bright object coming into view that they believe is the distant sun. Okay, So what they're saying is um, it's, it's beyond the vanishing point that we normally see, which causes nighttime because the sun is actually so far away over the disk of the flat Earth that it's, it's gone beyond its, its vanishing point, so it's now nighttime. But if you go up high enough, i.e. in a balloon, then you should be able to see the, the distant dim sun as we um, see here. Um, so is this the sun? Well, we can see the stars here around. Um, so we can also check the, the date because on the original video, as I pointed out, they did state that it was from the night of the 3rd to the 4th of January 2016. So I've opened up Starry Night and set it to uh, Madrid, Spain, and I've I've gone up into the stratosphere. I've gone up a lot higher than I need to, but that doesn't really matter. And um, we can see the familiar stars that we see in the video here. I'll just flick backwards and forwards so you can do a little comparison. And what do we see? We can see the star Spiker, and we can see the planet Mars, and we can see the moon. And yes, the moon is in a crescent phase, but here it looks like a big bright object, like a full moon. So why is it so bright? Well, quite simply because the camera settings have been set so sensitively because they are filming not the moon, but a very fast moving and often not very bright meteors as they flash by. So the moon is overexposed. Now, some people, because I've been commenting underneath these videos, some people have said, nonsense, it's not the moon, it's too big, it's too bright, the moon was a crescent. Okay, so let's verify this. Apart from the fact that we've already verified it using Starry Night, and you can use any astronomy software, such as Stellarium, which is free, you can download it, um, set the location to, to Spain, and set the time and the date accordingly, and uh, look for the Moon, the Mars, and uh, Spica, and you will see these other stars exactly as we see in this video. But apart from that, if I go to the Canada France Hawaii telescope, and go to images and time-lapse movies, if I scroll down you can see that underneath 
you can select uh, the date from their archive of past videos. So here is the video for January the 4th, 2016. And uh, this is uh, just after sunset, so I'm going to play the video here. And again, this camera is very sensitive to show the nighttime sky, that all of the stars, we can see millions of stars there. Um, there is Sirius, there is Procyon, we saw uh, Orion disappearing out of the, um, the frame before. And you can see the, the glow from the lights in Hawaii. This is uh, Jupiter. And very shortly we're going to see the star Spica uh, rise. And then we're going to see Mars. So there's Spica, there is Mars. That one is Spica, that one is Mars. And if I let this run on just a few more seconds, we're going to see this intensely bright light. And that is the moon. And again, you can see that it is very overexposed because this camera is set up not to look at the moon, but to look at the stars and, you know, look at meteors and satellites, and but mainly the stars, okay? Um, and if I let this run on, we can confirm that that's actually the moon and not the sun because um, very shortly it is sunrise and you can see that the sky is brightening up. The video ends before the sun comes up, but there, there we go, you can see that the the horizon is brightening as the sun is about to come up. So you can check that out for yourself. And uh, again, you know, if we go back and check the position of uh, the stars compared to starry night, um, we can confirm the positions here. So there is Spica, there is Mars, and there is the moon. Okay. Now, by the way, I have actually increased the the visual size of the moon here, because um, if I have it set to let me see, find planets, um, moon. If I drag that out there, if I have it set to the default size, then when I zoom in, you can't actually see it. So I did increase the size so that it would stand out more. But those are the actual positions in Starry Night. Let me just zoom in there. And if I zoom right in, you can see that it is a waning crescent. It's a, just a few days before the new moon. So that's what it is. It is not the distant dim sun as claimed by flat earth believers. It is, in fact, the moon. Um, let's go back to the video. It is in fact the moon, and I'll provide a link in the description area um, so that you can compare the, the screenshots, which I have here with the stars labeled. You can check them out for yourself. Um, you know, download Stellarium or, or use any other astronomy software that will show you the, the stars for the 4th of January 2016, and you can confirm for yourself. So yet again, another Flat Earth nonsense video debunked. Um, they're chasing the moon and calling it the sun and uh, all in a lather over it and uh, saying what an awesome video it is because it proves the, um, the flat earth and all of that. As always, do check out my Facebook discussion page, Voices of Reason to Explain X or Vortex. You'll find a link in the description area. Thank you for watching.